To me, the Bonzos were everything. The Bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music and for surrealism and excitement and weirdness. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, it's really quite powerful. It's, you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking. We changed from, you know, doing these silly old songs, which were our way of not wanting to do what was going on at the moment. I thought it was chaotic. I thought it was... Uh, bananas and in the true bonzo tradition of mayhem. And here we are in the celebrated Albert Hall Catford for this most glamorous occasion. We haven't seen this much glitter since Mr. Gad was arrested. Warm applause there for the leader of the orchestra, Mr. Rodney Slater. Worldwide favourite on clarinet, bass, saxophone, alto sax and washboard. Now coming to the podium, thanks, Larry Smith, National Treasure. Sam Spoons on acoustic and electric spoons. Vernon Dudley Bohe Noel on banjo and electric swarm. Mr. Bob Kerr on trumpet and teapot. Mr. Malcolm Scared on euphonium, E flat bass, and kazoo! David Catra Birch on the ukulele! Mr. David Glasson on the piano stool. Mr. Michael Livesey on Vox Humana. There's a form called misery, but of that we'll have none. Because we're no one, that's always lots of fun. Ha! The Bonzo story is so fascinating and so interesting. It's great, for everything sings out to us as we go through the gate. All the little pigs, they grunt and howl, the cats meow, the dogs bow wow, everybody makes a row after Vernon Dudley Bowie. I would always make up the explosions. There's this great sort of red glow and mass of white smoke suddenly filled the room. All the little pigs, they grunt and howl. My oh, God, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh. goody, goody, it's Tim from Dina! With big hungry tigers, table manners have no place. Dear, 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 no, dear, 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 no, dear, dear, oh, dear, no. After they have eaten you, they never say their grace. Dear, 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 no, dear, 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 no, dear, dear, no, dear, no. Hunting tigers can be a ripping fun. Like three blind mice, see the hunters run. Hunting tigers out in India. Out in, out in, out in India. Two.
proved as guilty as charged, yes. I think it's addictive. We can't stop doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just jolly good fun, that's why. So I seem to have livened up as I've got older, yes. And um, yes, it needs commenting on. I think, you know, the absurdity of mastering the art of living longer is um, something that's preoccupied me in the last six years, yes. Yeah. Uh, and this was the mid 70s, so I mean, I got it late, but it was, um, it was a flash of inspiration that uh, something could exist that I didn't know existed. And when I went to university the next year, I met Rick Mail, who also had a copy of Gorilla. And so we, we kind of knew instantly that, that we were kind of going in, in the same direction. And ever since, we've tried to do funny music occasionally. And we, we, the more we try, the more we, we hold our hands up and surrender and say the Bonzos are the only ones who can do it. I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. With everything I touch, you see, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. With expose on LSD, I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. The musical comedy is, is actually not easy to do well, and that's the important thing. You've got to be able to play well to be able to perform well, and you know, I always hope and think that that's what I do and what the Bonzos do. Just quite frankly, leaves me more to tears for so many. Apart from what one hears, I've been like this for years and years. You see, all we, I'm born with Mother Nature and her son. I'm born. The evolution of the Bonzo Dog Band, I mean, it did start with the mayhem and chaos and grew to something else. We changed from doing these silly old songs, which were our way of not wanting to do what was going on at the moment, and then we learned to you know, compose our own songs. Look at me, I'm wonderful. Shooby dooby war. I'm not a bit like you or you. I'm a super showbiz star. Larry's is a one-off. I mean, he's the same off stage as he is on stage. He's just himself. I don't think he's ever been anything else but just himself. That's what he is. That's what he does. And he was part of the crazy gang that, you know, got together doing these things. Like that of... It's a real pleasure being back in your country and I love you wonderful listeners, have you? Sam has made a wonderful art out of incompetence. Sam is very good at it, yeah, absolutely. And no one else can do that. He's wonderful. Well, he's a very funny-looking guy, for a start, and uh, he just brought his own personality. I mean, the Spoon solo was, you know, what attracted him to us and us to him. I mean, I'd never seen... I'd seen people playing the Spoons before. There was a blind clarinetist and the Spoon player who used to walk in a traditional way with one foot in the gutter, one on the pavement, in train cross road, and I was an art student. So I'd seen Spoons players before, but not like that. You know, not the athletic performance that Sam gives, you know, breaking tables, falling off stages. He's done it all. I've chosen to wipe them from my from my memory, really. Um, be quite honest, the only the only one I can, I can remember that ac actually we didn't complete was it somewhere like High Wickham or somewhere somewhere unlikely. A college do, and I don't know if some Teddy Boys got in there or, or, or something and started causing some trouble. Something ended up on stage, and I think. That was a very short period where Bob Kerr might have been in the band, and he threw a dustbin back at them or something, which which wasn't a particularly <laughs> good thing to do. And, um, and then all manner of stuff got thrown at us, and I think the curtain went across, and we walked off. 
Did you think it had 50 years? In no, yeah. never. <laughs> I still don't believe what I'm doing now, to be honest. To me, the Bonzos were everything in my childhood. I was not a rock and roll sort of teenager. So the Bonzos fulfilled every single feeling I had for comedy and for music, for surrealism and excitement and weirdness. Um, they, they simply dominated my life. After his second wife passed away, Percy Rawlinson seemed to spend more and more time with his Alsatian, Al. His friends told him, you should get out more, Percy, you'll wind up looking like a dog, ha ha. He was later arrested near a lamppost. At his trial, some weeks later, he surprised everyone by mistaking a policeman for a postman and tearing his trousers off with his bare teeth. In his defense, he told the court, it's hard to tell the difference when they take their hats off. I think it's that mixture of uh, musicians, artists and comedy. They're all three things and it's all rolled into one show and they're entertainers as well. So you've got that whole mixture, it just makes them unique in my opinion. But cautiously opening the door instead of the turbaned young ruffian she expected, she found a very nice young man. Mrs. Pence, you've won the car contest. Would you like a Triumph, Spitfire or 3,000 in cash? Mrs. Pench took the money. I first saw the Bonzo Dog Doodah band on Do Not Adjust Your Set around about 1966, 67 I think, and I was about 11 years old and uh, so were they. Working in my lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. My monster from the slab began to rise and suddenly, to my surprise, exuberance, uh, a theatricality, uh, a comedy that we haven't really seen um, since uh, Jerry Halliwell stopped singing. And that combination of music and comedy, when it works, it's really quite powerful. It, it's, you, you laugh and tap your foot at the same time. It's multitasking. It was a graveyard smash. It was a smash. It had grown in a flash. The monster mash. It did the monster mash. Zombies were having fun. The party had just begun. At Rawlinson End. It is almost three years since Madge and Bobby Rawlinson pulled up roots and were arrested by the Parks Department. The Mandrake screamed. Uh, Jeremy Sphincter has sailed for Australia after the poultry scare. We won't mention him again. Old Mr. Trelawney stays on the farm, now a broken man and an incurable alcoholic. Apart from his regular visits to the village shop for a couple of tins of ready rubbed, he hardly goes out at all and devotes his remaining years to breeding those beautiful guppies for which he's so rightly famous. Sandra smells. Randy has turned in on himself, but no mean feat for a forty stone man. After all, he's still married to Sharon and is only Paulette's father by the skin of his teeth. A poor Rosemary has her hands full at Rawlinson End, uh, trying to bring up Timothy and Leticia, uh, now at that difficult age when they start asking questions. Meanwhile, Aubrey and Maureen Rawlinson have gone to the old house, convinced that they will find something to prove Roger's birthright, but unaware that poor Maynard is hiding in the priest hole. Now, read on. Union Jack Through the 
We'd also like to thank the star of our show, Mr. Legs, Larry Smith. Yeah. Also, your appreciation for my friends, uh, JJ on the drums, Tom Fry on the bass, Mickey Simmons on the keyboards, Andy Roberts on guitar, but wait a moment. There's an easier way of doing this. Q Grams! Hi there, nice to be with you. Happy you could stick around. I'd like to introduce Legs Larry Smith, drums. And Sam Spoons, rhythm pole. And Vern Dudley Bohay Noel, bass guitar. And Neil Innes, piano. Come in, Rodney Slater on the saxophone. With Roger Ruskin Spear on tenor sax. Hi, Vivian Stanchel, trumpet. Big hello to Big John Wayne, xylophone. And Robert Morley, guitar. Billy Butlin, spoon. And looking very relaxed, Adolf Hitler on vibes. Nice. Princess Anne on sousaphone. Introducing Liberace clarinet with Gone and Ted Armstrong on vocals. Lord Snooty and his pals tap dancing. In the groove with Harold Wilson violin. And Franklin McCormack on harmonica. Over there, Eric Clapton ukulele. Hi, Eric. On my left, Sir Kenneth Park, bass sax. Great honor, sir. And specially flown in for us, a Sessions Gorilla on Vox Humana. 
Nice to see incredible shrinking man on euphonium. Drop out with Peter Scott on Duck Call. Hearing from you later, Casanova on Horn. Yeah, digging General De Gaulle on accordion. Really wild, General. Thank you, sir. Roy Rogers on trigger. Tune in Wild Man of Borneo on bongos. Count Basie Orchestra on triangle. Thank you. Great to hear the Rawlinsons on trombone. Back from his recent operation, Dan Drop, hot. And representing the flower people, Quasimodo on bells. Wonderful to hear Brainiac on banjo. We welcome Baldunican as himself. Very appealing, Max Jaffa. Mmm, that's nice, Max. What a team, Zebra Kid and Horace Bachelor on percussion. A great favorite and a wonderful performer, all of us here, J. Arthur Rank on Gong.